Is breakfast really the most important meal of the day? The truth is, it depends. In my opinion, breakfast is probably the least important of the day. The purpose of breakfast is breaking fast. That's what it stands for. There's many cultures that don't eat breakfast. Our ancestors never ate breakfast because there wasn't any way to store food. There wasn't any refrigerators. So we had to find breakfast. We've been told that starchy breakfasts like cornflakes or cereals are great for us. In fact, this is a myth that was started as a way of getting Americans to eat grain products. The problem with dry cereals or French toast or pancakes is that these are pure sugars and they spike your blood sugar. And then you're hungry and you're feeling weak at 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and you're going to eat something else. So let me tell you the right way to eat breakfast. Breakfast should be a way of delivering healthy fats into you and healthy greens into you. Now everybody says, but Dr. Gundry, I'm not going to eat a salad for breakfast. So that's why I developed my green egg sausage muffin recipe. It's featured in my new book, The Plant Paradox, which is available now. It's everywhere books are sold. And I want to cook it for you today to show you just how easy it is to make a healthy breakfast, even on the busiest mornings. To make 12 muffins, you're going to need a pound of Dietzel Farms turkey or Italian sausage or turkey chorizo. I personally use a fantastic vegetarian product from corn that's called Grounds. Grounds is exactly like ground turkey or ground beef. You won't be able to tell the difference. This is made out of the roots of mushrooms and a few little bits of egg white. And quite honestly, it's my go-to choice. Now, I've already browned that pound of turkey Italian sausage, and I'll show you what we're going to do with that in a minute. So, what you want to do is heat the oven to 350 degrees while you're lining all this up. And then put some muffin cups in a standard 12 cup muffin tin. Now, you take your bag of spinach. And while the sausage is cooking, you cut a hole in the bag and that'll let air out and place it in the microwave on high for three minutes. Once you do that, you're gonna cut a tiny edge out of the side of the spinach, the tip, and you're gonna squeeze as much water out of this spinach as possible. The more water you get out, the better it's going to be. Okay, now we're going to start putting all of these ingredients in a Vitamix or a Blendtec. Throw that in there. We're going to put the eggs in there. Ooh, these are good omega-3 eggs. So we're going to put five eggs in there. Don't be afraid of all the eggs. They're really one of the keys to making this an enjoyable muffin. And please don't throw the yolks away. The yolks are the most important part of the egg. Okay. We're going to add the rest of the olive oil and all the rest of our ingredients. The salt, the Italian seasoning, the minced onion, the black pepper, and our two cloves of garlic that we've chopped. Okay, so we've got that all in the blender, and we're going to pulse this for about a minute. And that's actually pretty good. Okay, now once we have all that mixed around, we're going to transfer that into a bowl. And then we're going to stir in the sausage or the corn grounds. Okay. And then we're just going to mix that together. And we're just going to fill these muffin cups almost to the top. And so once we've got all this filled, we're going to put that in the oven and we're going to bake it for about 30 to 35 minutes until the tops start to brown. Okay, so they're ready, and you'll notice they've nicely browned on the edges. I like to do this on a weekend, and then I store them in a glass container in your refrigerator, 
or wrapped in wax paper in your freezer. The beauty of this is this is breakfast the way you want it to be. Try the plant paradox. You're gonna love the book. You're gonna love the recipes. They're designed to improve your health, not damage your health. Because as you know, I'm Dr. Stephen Gundry, and I'm always looking out for you. Look familiar? That's the Department of Health and Human Services Food Pyramid. It's how we were taught about diet for years. And in my opinion, they've got it all wrong.